peace, love, energy, light, and infinite love to all my beautiful original melanated copper tone indigenous American Indians on Turtle Island. Good God, all right, I love saying that. I'm, whew, I don't think I'll ever get tired of saying that, y'all. <laughs> but Halito, Halito to everyone. I hope you all know who you are. Love you all. Peace to all. Peace to love. One love to all. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a beautiful day. A beautiful day. I meant to introduce y'all to my baby. This is all little man Jane right here. She's doing quite well. We got a bunch of other little random plants all over, you know? I love plants, love agriculture, but we're going to get more. We're going to get more plants, you know? But other than that, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's had a productive day. I hope everyone's been doing their due diligence. I hope everyone's been getting what they need to get done. Everything. Good times and illusion. And if it was real, you know what they say. It waits on no one. It waits on no one. So how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? We are going to definitely talk about how to deal with these corporations on your land. Always, 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 always. Because that's what we're dealing with every single day. And how to properly contract and not contract. And especially not get sent. This year, these next five years are going to be crucially about the will to not get sent. Like I said in previous videos, in plenty of my videos, acquiescing is basically consenting. Not saying nothing is basically consenting, you know? Shout out to all my indigenous ones out there putting this information out. Shout out to everyone doing that thing. I'm so proud of y'all. Keep on kicking out this information. I don't even care if people are saying it's repetitive or because so many people still don't get it, you know? And our videos of the truth are getting suppressed. You know, we're definitely, definitely getting blackballed, you know. Like they're definitely editing our videos, they're deleting our videos. Very few people get to see our videos. So those who are able to see our videos, don't be afraid to hit the like button. Don't be afraid to subscribe or share. And y'all know I usually don't say that, but at this point in time in life, yeah, it's about time to push this information out. You gotta push it. You gotta apply pressure. This is all about pressure. This next five years is about applying pressure. Cause they letting it all out. They swinging all the blows. They are doing it all. Just, just know that the United States Corporation never gave a fuck about you. So what makes you think they are giving a fuck about you now? You know? You got to know they're trying to take your land. They're trying to claim your land. So why do we let them? Why do we continue to cycle? Is it because of fear? Is it because of pure ignorance? And when I say ignorance, I definitely mean lack of knowledge. Lack of critical, crucial knowledge. And it's all accessible, it's all accessible to be retained, everything. So the consequences and repercussions of not really evaluating everything and all the aspects of the constitution, especially in your state. I mean, just start with, you know, studying public law dash, new, uh, dash 283. Start with that one, the indigenous rights, you know. Just look at the constitutional rights you have. Just look at what you're allowed to do on your land. Know that a corporation holds no jurisdiction over you, so you are free. You have the right not to consent. You have the right to say no. You got to start saying no. You got to start saying no. You can write out contracts. You don't have to abide by every job, by every corporation, by every business, by every so-called state that comes to try to proclaim things over you, who try to mandate things over you. You are your own 
state. You are your own country. You are your own government. You are sovereign. I don't know if that's too much pressure for people to handle. They don't feel as though they're ready to govern themselves. They need someone to whip them in shape. But from the past thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years, millions of years, we've always went with nature if we didn't know the answer. We always look within if we didn't know the answer. You know? Why would you turn to a foreigner who wants to colonize your land and rape your children, and prison your children, poison your children, and strip your children from everything? And, mentally deprive them and mentally stress them and just kill them off. Why would you keep trusting them? Why would you raise your children to trust them? Why would you raise your children to fear them? Is it because of your ignorance? Is it because you're scared? Or is it because you just aren't strong enough? You just don't want to. You don't want to be the man to, to fight it or the queen to hold it down. You just want to be the little fella in the corner getting the scraps. I don't know about you all, but I ain't built like that. Our blood don't pump like that, especially us indigenous ones. We're not built to back down. We're not built to give up. Giving up is talk. Backing down is talk. That is talk. Everything in nature who try by any means necessary to survive. Only the human species will find excuses and reasons to ball up in the corner. Every bug and animal on this planet, its families are getting slaughtered every day. You yeah, we kill a bunch of roaches. Yeah, we kill a bunch of ants. But, you know, we don't put ourselves in their shoes. You don't see that. We just killed a million of their ancestors. You know, a million of their aunts and granddads and brothers and sisters and shit. They don't stop and have funeral sessions. They don't stop and and and, and, and take six weeks off to get this stuff together. They see the bigger picture into keeping their civilization running. They see the bigger picture in keeping this planet moving. If these bees keep getting killed and stop working because their ancestors or their cousins and brothers are getting killed and they feel hopeless and wanna crawl up in the tree somewhere, we won't have plants to be pollinated. We won't. If nature doesn't show weakness, why do we? What gives us the excuse, the audacity to give up? I don't know about you guys, but I don't see animals, bugs, fish or birds giving up or stopping doing what they're doing because they had a bad fucking day. <laughs> I don't see that. So if we're such an advanced species, if we're so intelligent, why do we let our emotions get the best of us? I really want you to think about that. Like, like, really think about that. If we're so goddamn dominant, why do we make excuses? Just, just, you know, you sit back and you can sit back on that one. No rush, no rush. 
So basically, what I'm trying to say is we must we must understand and understand who and what we are and how powerful we really are. We must know. We must know. We got to start making excuses. We got to just do. We just got to just do. Do what's best for the next generation. Do what's best for their children, 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 children. Just keep doing what we got to do, you know. We just don't stop. Just don't stop. Don't make excuses. Just keep fighting and always just never stop. So peace, love, energy, and light you all. One love. Get at you.